All right, it's 5:30 in the morning. This is my. It's a fun day, but I'm practicing bugging out. Uh, I woke up to the sound of sirens going off, and I grabbed my pack. I grabbed my rifle. And I'm heading out the door and I had to make a decision this is a practice run this is just me trying to have a fun day but also seeing what this would be like to, if it happens in the middle of the night um, I left the dog at home I'm gonna do this again later on and take the dog but I thought I might uh, be better if I tried it first without the dog so Alright, here we are, I'm driving down the highway in the middle of the night, heading for my bug out spot. Won't be too long, too much longer and we'll be there. I've <clears throat> reached my uh, bug out site for today. I'm heading down into the woods here to where I'm going to set up my day camp. I've got my, I'm actually able to drive my vehicle quite a ways down into the woods, weaving through some trees so that my vehicle is hidden from the road. quality is not really good this time of day but there's lots of uh, dead trees laying around stuff for firewood if needed I you can see this is a little air on the ground I created that to show me where I wanted to go into the woods right here to uh, point towards where I wanted to camp Definitely gonna take some practice. I feel like my it's the first time I've really worn this pack with all this stuff in it. And it feels really heavy. There's a little creek. It's a dry creek, it runs right through there. I suppose in the rainy season. Um but somewhere close to here. So I could get water if I needed to. Gotta find a spot to go ahead and hang my uh hammock. I think I'll do it right here. I'll get back with you. Well, here's my campsite. I just woke up a little while ago and decided to cook myself some breakfast. And you can see I've got a little folding camp stove. Same one I used uh, last year on Memorial Day weekend. I've already made myself some hot chocolate and cooked up some bannock right now. The little stove works well. It boiled that uh, water, which I didn't mean to boil, but it boiled the water for the hot chocolate quite quickly. And uh, so now I've got to let it cool down. But uh, anyway, that little stove, it's, it's a little heavy, but uh, for the weight, it does a great job. Just got back from doing a little bit of hiking. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to walk out here and show you this trail. I've been wanting to know where it goes. And uh, so I just got done hiking it. And... Uh, I'm coming right up from my campsite to this big trail. It goes through here. It's an old road of some kind. You see I'm walking out onto it now. You turn and right down there you see the creek. Well the road goes on through the creek and up and around and uh, 
it splits off in a couple places and so I followed those roads so that I know where they come out on this property so now I've got I know other ways in to here and uh, these are all old roads they've actually been blocked off for some you know not completely I could get to them if I needed to but they're not in use roads but uh, I've learned uh, several ways in and out from my camp for emergency purposes I don't have to uh, to uh, go out the way I came in and if you turn around and look up the trail you'll see my truck so theoretically and my truck is hidden they, you know, I mean there's a I'm way down in the trees I just drove through the trees so I could turn that truck around and come right down this trail that I just showed you and get out two or three other ways uh, if I had to and one of those roads one of those roads comes up and because uh, I've got a four-wheel drive I could uh, I could get out so what I'm about to do now about two years ago uh, I think I found a water source on this property but I haven't been back to visit it so I'm fixing to go hike it's about 300 yards 300 400 yards from here and I'm gonna see if it's still moving if there's still a water source there so uh, let me go get my rifle okay so I'm hiking up out of here and I'm just gonna take a few brief notes but uh, when I was out uh, surveying these roads and trails um, there was an area that I was familiar with and I came out into it and I would have walked right out into the open but I remembered during deer season hunting in here that there is a uh, a back way to follow that open field and so I walked down in there and uh, I jumped a deer that was sleeping so I've seen several rabbits and a couple of deer and uh, that's just a couple of the meat sources that I found there are also uh, quite a bit of cactus and I'm going to do some uh, investigation or some uh, digging into finding out uh, what kind of sources those provide see there's there's some cactus right there so and that's all over this place and uh, so I'm gonna find out uh, what it can provide. So I'm gonna shut this down for now and hike up on out here. I'm gonna have to go out in the open and uh, I'm gonna hike down to where I remember that water source to be. All right, I've cleared the open area and uh, now I'm back down into the wooded area. Uh, I'm on a trail that uh, follows the fence line here and uh, if I remember right that stream that I found a couple years back is I don't know 200 to 300 yards down through here it's hard to tell uh, it's a very very hilly very rocky hard to walk sometimes so very beautiful country I have been hiking down through here and stumbled across uh, several baby uh, wild hogs. Um, so that's a possible another, you know, possibly another source for uh, meat if need be. So anyway, it's hot out here today wind's blowing so that's some help <clears throat> just gonna hike down here I'm not gonna bring any water back I just want to see if the source is still there I got plenty of water at my camp apart from what I'm carrying on me right now but uh, it's nice to know and uh, very dry out here. Lots of grasshoppers and bugs bouncing around out here. But anyway, um, there is an actual another location down here on this trail right here where I could set up a campsite. But uh, 
there's no way to access it very close. Well, I take it back. There is a way to access it by vehicle, but it's, uh, I don't think it's as hidden as uh, my other location is. Uh, it might be. I'll have to investigate it a little bit. So, anyway, I'm going to hike down in here and see what we can find out, and I'll get right back with you. Well, here's the water hole that I found a couple years ago, and as you can see, it's all dried up now, except there is mud in the bottom, so there's some moisture, and quite possibly maybe if I were to dig down a ways, I could find water, but obviously if there's a rain or something, there's going to be some water here, so it still may be a viable water source, just not a constant one, so we'll see. But uh, I'm going to hike back out of here and head back to camp.